Welcome to Fireteam Chat, IGN's Destiny Show. Thank you so much for joining us today. Joining me today in the studio is Fran Mirabella. Hey, Guardians. CJ Gibson. What's up? And we'll talk about what's on the show in just a second, but first, let's go over the news. The PC launch of Destiny 2 is thankfully almost here. On October 24th, it will launch at 10 a.m. Pacific time on the West Coast, but worldwide, you can see a map on Bungie.net with what that means for the rest of the world. While minimum PC requirements seem doable for most, you'll probably want to up your card should you want to harness those 60 frames. The raid, which was delayed until this week, is also right around the corner. And while the cheating bug wasn't fixed, cheaters should beware because Bungie has assured that they will verify whether or not it was used. A fix, however, is on the way. Bungie also admitted that they are listening about Endgame Crucible and even the little issues like the leading shaders in bulk. They will say more soon, but in the meantime, you can listen to us discuss what we think on Fireteam Chat right now. By the way, thank you for finally fixing those tower crashes on PlayStation 4. On today's episode, we're going to talk about our take on Iron Banner, the new distant shore map, the token system, and the upcoming PC launch. Also, Fran, you have some announcements about the IGN clan on Bungie.net. Yeah, and Discord in general. So if you're listening, we're going to leave a link in the comment. Join the IGN Discord, and you'll be able to join uh, Fireteam Chat LFG if you're looking for people to play with. Mm -hmm. I know I go through this a lot, even with many friends uh, and fans out there to play with. It's hard to find them. So we're setting up a Discord. Check out that link. If you're in the clan, especially, I've been trying to get your attention on Bungie Chat. Hence, I want to get your chat, uh, sorry, attention on Discord chat. So I'm going to leave a link for clan members as well. That's a private link, but we'll get you in there. It'll be a great place to talk to each other. Yeah, definitely. So the, the clan system in Destiny is a little convoluted in that you are locked to 100 members. And with yeah. PC launch around the corner, we have kind of held off new members at the moment. But as soon as PC hits, we're going to have a big influx of new additions. And yeah. Yeah, and that's the point. We want to make sure that we're doing our job, rallying everybody together. I see people wanting to play with each other. It's just hard, like whether you're on PSN messages or yeah. now you're going to be on Steam messages. So I really think Discord is going to help or really just keep checking your Bungie chat. But yeah. it, it is hard to check. And I mean, the, ga the game is a lot funner to play with other people. Believe it or not. actually in Crucible. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Let's talk about Crucible. So Iron Banner was all week. We've been playing it a lot. I just turned in my final, my 10th yeah. package. Yeah, like, more I like witnessed it. It ended up being 12. I got... Amazing. Amazing. An emblem. You did. I got a duplicate chess piece. <laughs> I got the same pulse I already had. I like the pulse. The pulse yeah. looks really yeah. good. Um, yeah. But overall, how do you guys feel about Iron Banner? CJ, you've been playing a ton. Let's start with you. Yeah, I mean, I think for the most part, and, and I was looking at the chat comments from last week, everybody was like, that CJ guy really knows what he's talking about. No, they were like, <laughs> hey, there's a lot of stuff that we don't like. Power. It's underwhelming. That part of it, uh, for me, again, it's not a huge deal. Again, I'm 305, so I don't think that's a big deal. But, um, yeah, like the bounty system replaced with challenges, what do you guys think about that? Because I actually <clears throat> don't like it as much. I think Really? That, yeah, I, don't I don't know like that it. I want bounties back. You know, like I'm fine with the reputation see, bundle challenges. I like bounties it. because you were pretty but, much guaranteed to get something that you would want. But, see, but that's the reward system. So I was curious, with, yes. what is it about the bounties you like? Did you like... It's a combination of picking them up. Ah, so those are quality of life things. Again, I understand why challenges have been implemented for that reason. We'll talk about that in a second. But um, no, I felt that like the challenges are just for the day. You do most of them and then that's it. Yeah. If you don't finish them, then you're like, oh, it's gone. Versus the bounties, it felt like a little bit more progress, like and on it, a day to day, like, and over, for, the week. Over, over the week. And I agree with that. It's, yeah. it's lacking a weekly or seasonal maybe challenge. Right. Maybe. Um, so yeah, like I agree, they could use challenges that are more than just those daily reputation yeah. bundle things. But that's the issue, right? Because now challenges reset. So it's nice you don't have to go to the tower, get new bounties, and yeah. do all that stuff. Uh, but again, this is another Destiny One versus Two conversation where in Destiny One, initially you had to go to, to him to turn them in. Yeah. Then it was like, hey. You can just hit X, turn them in. Now it's like you don't even pick them up. You don't even know what they are. You don't even know if you're doing them sometimes. Yeah. Like that. Well, you do well, if you like. You do, but my look. point is everybody's going, oh, you can't. Yeah, you have to be in the game. Yes. So you I see are you're bringing saying. up no, the menu that, in the middle yeah. of the game. That bothers me about challenges in general. Is like yeah. I want to look them up, and I'm like, I have to go in the game, and then out. I'm getting like glimmer or notification, yeah. and I can't even look until You yeah. can't look until clear. the glimmer notification They got to fix clear. that as well. Yeah. It's, but, um, it's really weird. Yeah. So um, it's not bad. I understand why they've done it. But yeah, there's definitely, yeah, there's missing a weekly. Like getting to 10. Do you want more challenge uh bounty type stuff to do yes even 100 and so power you didn't care that's missing mostly that no, didn't bother you it didn't bother me and again I, I said that last week some people agree with me but other people are like hey 
I mean, we didn't mention lore wise. Like, there's a bunch of people who are saying, hey, from a lore standpoint, the fact that it's gone, that's a little bit of an outrage. So um, I get that. But yeah, for me, it's not an issue that power's gone, but the game mode itself is, is different. It's 4v4 as well. well. Let's talk about gear drops and the way that whole system works. You only can get gear drops via turning in tokens, but when Iron Banner ended in Destiny 1, we were able to get drops in game. You could actually get the weekly drops and acquire them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was only usually two, it was like a chest or chest and arms or legs and whatever. Yeah. And it gave you a reason to come back get your drops on all your characters and bounce now you're just grinding it out and it's yeah. a little frustrating like you're, you're not going to get end of game drops that are iron banner related and a lot of people are having trouble getting a full set i've turned in 13 packages only on my titan i'm trying to get one set because of the way the system works right now yeah i cannot get it to save my life i have two chest pieces i have two of the pulse rifle but I'm not getting, it, like, the SMG. I can't even talk about most of the weapons. Yeah. You know, it's really interesting, though, that, like, part we enjoyed some of the magic where you couldn't get a full right. set. Exactly. And now you're actually complaining <laughs> that you can get a full set, but you can't. Be just because it's taking forever, which I mean, it's interesting. There's um, there's pros and cons to both sides. But what I would point to most that's really, um, you know, kind of just nagging at me a little bit is the magic of when you finish your match. Um, I know they got rid of that overall, obviously, the, the drops game. at the end of the match. But for yeah. Iron Banner in particular, mm -hmm. that one just feels off to me because uh -huh. Iron Banner is about the competition. And you kind of want to get to that last screen and be like, who what did, did best? And you want to theorize that the guy that got the you know 3.8 KD, <laughs> yeah. the guy that's why they got the amazing drop. Yeah. But like, no. you know what I mean? Yeah, oh, now guy. nobody gets anything. Yeah, the guy on the bottom always got the best item. Sure. <laughs> but like, always, I somehow. actually <laughs> want that. It's like, oh, man, yeah. they got the drop. There's nothing happening after each match. Yeah. And I think there's a little thing in the back of my brain, that little reward bell. Yeah, is here's missing. what's happening. For I'm sure. pressing the circle button. I'm going into the next match and cut, miss skipping as much of that as I can. Yeah, you're yeah. like, you yeah, let me get, get through me this as out fast of here. as possible. Yeah. And that's a huge problem, by the way. Iron Banner, like, people just bailing. I was trying to yeah. get footage of the new map, and, like, I was trying to bail faster <laughs> to get the <laughs> so, footage before the show. I could not get the new map. Yeah. But then yesterday, I got it like five times what? in a row. Distant so, you say, so you were bailing to get the new map? Like, I needed footage before the show. Our B-roll is going to be pulled off to PlayStation 4, by yeah. the way, for Band. that section. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. And, reported. And Band, there's uh, no punishment for it, so why not? I know. That's well, true. you were doing it for a good reason. Exactly. Right? Show it. I, yeah. Uh, we're still talking more about Iron Banner, right? Yeah, so Iron Banner, uh, I kind of want to talk about the new map, which was implemented for sure. Iron Banner. Distant Shore. Distant yeah. Shore. I like how it looks. CJ thinks Destiny 1 looks better because he has rose colored glasses. <laughs> yeah, literally. He's like, everybody, I back whoa, and look. I'm He's like, it doesn't saying. have any shadows. And I was like, dude, there's shadows everywhere. So, yeah. so again, a strange person. There's like a one. rain effect on it. It's a nice, like, glowing, bright color. I'm, listen, cut to the wide. Don't look at me like that, Destin. No, Destin. I'm, I'm CJ. Out. Destiny 1 was the best. <laughs> Nothing will be better hey, than Destiny that's 1. That's the sentiment online right he, now. They, that's you. No, it's a bunch of people. I, I think what's... I Distant assume what sure looks worse. No, than it really doesn't. It, it looks fine. It, it looks, looks great. The, actually. It's Nessus again, is cool. It's an aesthetic thing. When you when you move from you know again midship in Halo Two to Heretech in Halo Three, there's those aesthetic things. Well, they do. Bungie re-releases yeah. maps. They they evolve them. The the sight lines and the way it plays. It's a great map. I like. That. I love. What's it called now? Distant Shore. Yeah, yeah Distant Shore. Yeah. Was a time before. Shore was a time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a it plays great. So from that standpoint, I love all the aesthetic changes. From that standpoint, I was just saying the weather effects and it was like fog and all that stuff in Destiny One. Yes, again, the rose color glasses are on, but uh, they've changed a little bit. But yeah, positive changes. I will say overall, I think it looks gorgeous. The yeah, new one. but I mean, I th it's probably a longer discussion for later, uh, as I often say on this show. But um, <laughs> it the, the games look different, and I think they it do. stuck out to you a ton when you finally a map you've played yeah. a bazillion times. You saw again, you're like, wait a second. Yeah, and then you went back and you What's played different? It in Destiny yeah, one because you just. Needed to that comparison because I a little drop on the visor and the lens flare and how that's different, but yeah. not necessarily adding anything. No, it's not. It's not a good or bad thing. It's like yeah. a. It's I, a I get it. So Yeah, I mean, I yeah. do think that Destiny wants some of the rendering stuff they did and the look is it's different. It's charming in its own way. Yep. Um, and you may like that for some reason. So we have new armor. We have new weapons. How do you guys feel about them re-releasing these old maps? Oh, I have no problem with Distant Shores being re-released. I like the nostalgia. It's now a yeah. Nessus. Like I, I'm cool with that. And like if you like the map, you'll be pretty. It's happy. one of my favorite like, maps. I think yeah. it's safe Twilight. to say we all Gap. cannot wait for Burning Shrine. Yeah, um, and it'll <laughs> exactly. probably launch with yeah the Osiris stuff that makes yeah. a lot of sense, right? Because I think it's on Mercury. That'd be cool. Yeah, um, so I'm I, loving it. I like that. But what really th the whole thing for Banner for me, uh, my overview is. And I, I really do hate to put it this way, but I'm sorry. It really feels like cut and paste um, 
stuff happening here. It's like they developed the faction system, the tokens, and then they're like, okay, well, we got to do Iron Banner. Um, we don't want it to be confusing. I don't know what the choices were, but it's like, so it'll be quick play and control, yeah. and it's going to have the token system, and here's some gear. But I meaning it just doesn't feel special. And I was segueing from this because I was like, how cool would it have been um, to release an Iron Banner map? You know, like just like we saw yeah. with Trials. That was really neat. Uh, bring Saladin back, maybe shortcut scene, whatever. But Honestly, just, that's when they should have released Vostok. And that as well, yeah, right? Yeah. Because that, it, I mean, it kind of is a banner map, right? Well, and the music, again, I mean, it's Saladin's voice in there. There's a bunch of little subtle but, touches that are really nice, but I know what you're saying. That was the theme from most people, I think, underwhelming. But in general, it just, like, it feels like I'm just playing quick play for tokens. Yeah, and yeah. so it just lacks, like, that specialty. And so, again, like, they need to change something up, whether it's drops at the end of the match, go back to, like you said, go back to you will get these things. Yeah. But without the rolls, I think it definitely brings into question, like, well, question. why am I getting 400 of these, yeah. um, the, the, the auto, you know? Because, but, yeah, well, because once specified. you get it, like, once you get them this time, armor and weapons, what incentive, unless there's a power level increase, or in which yeah. there isn't, yeah, or that, for the next Iron Banner... What happens then? Are they going to make new weapons every time Iron Banner rolls around? Because effectively, that's what happened with rolls. I think what they want you to do, just having played three characters, and I dumped everything into my Titan thinking, okay, I'll get a full set on one character and then work on the next Yeah, that's what I'm trying week. to do. I think it's better to optimize and just turn in your tokens on their individual characters or like 20 per character because you have a better chance of getting a piece you don't have. Mm -hmm. so, so, that like slowly building the three up. But I don't want to play that way. I just want the full set on my Titan. So that's what's interesting is that you want the, and I, the, I feel like the, the token system, system is yeah, here. it is. But now you're doing that, right? You're taking advantage of that system. That's the conversation I want to have in a bit. But do you, do you like the token system for that reason? Like you're taking your tokens and I moving them over. Pop in my 20 tokens into the slot machine, pull, pull the lever, and I get a duplicate. <laughs> yeah, uh, duplicate don't probably, always land I, I, on sevens. You I know? still would remind though the duplicate thing is like there's a positive. You're getting way more drops now, and I think that people see it as a negative. They're like, I already got it. And it's like yeah. you used to live in a world where you just weren't getting anything, and then you yeah. complain about that. <laughs> so, but I it, 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 it does need to be fixed. Yeah. I mean, you get a Destiny ton of 2 drops. Still now. has that problem. You're still getting stuff that's just trash. Do you know how many shards I have? 1500 charges or something crazy yeah. because yeah. I just I can't get the stuff that I need. But that's my point. You get so many rewards, but it's you're a right. It's system you're... I brought up in the beta when yeah. we were running that strike over and over trying to get that one mm -hmm. arm yeah. and like there's no there's no smart way, way to, to do, do yeah. that yeah. or improve your chances. Which is weird because there's no strike specific loot. I could go on strike specific loot. There's a loot. plethora of problems. That's what I just yeah. was going to mention. I mean, Duggan was on the show last week and he specifically talked about those things. That resonated with a bunch of the people in the mm -hmm. comment section. So that's what's weird because how many times did you grind, you know, to get a grasp of Malik or an Imago loop. Did you yeah. do that a lot? Yeah. Did you like that? Well, I like that there was a reason to play strikes. So that and if if all the if all the strikes had different weapons that were actually coveted, yeah, the chests, you yes. would just hop in a random play. So that's what's missing in Destiny 2 right now. But obviously, you know, that was also missing in vanilla Destiny as well, mm -hmm. too. So I think that will come along the way. And that's what a lot of people were saying, and, and they did resonate with James. It's like, why am I playing this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want something new. I want something different. And that's, to me, going to be the big question with the next Iron Banner. If you get all the weapons this time around, why are you going to play it the next time? Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm like, I think I'm mostly okay with, like, loot drops and stuff. I'm sure I will be frustrated when I don't get a full set or whatever. But my main thing is Iron Banner itself just doesn't feel like an event. It feels too samey. It, yeah. it feels like they combine factions with... Just quick play and like it's missing. Yeah, the power. Well, they didn't piece even is combine, definitely missing for me. They didn't yeah. even combine fra factions because you're just playing Crucible. But, it's just like any other token system in the game. Yeah. But it's weird to remove a powerful Engram end game reward from it. It's very bizarre to me. Like it just doesn't seem thought out. Like for example, I'm playing Banner because I want to get uh, I, my drops. I think you get a powerful Engram or a Maybe powerful from weapon seasons. from when you hit level ten. Uh, but you just did. You didn't get that. I, oh, well, well, we didn't look quickly we didn't enough. Look you're right. Weapon. And you were high I got level. an emblem, and I'm okay. But level. maybe it's yeah. that. But it's not clear uh, if you did get that drop. Yeah. But in general, meaning the time it takes as well. Like I'm trying to level up my Titan, so I had to go do flash points. Is, is yeah. what I was going to drive at. Way more efficient. I knew what I was going to get out of it. But like with Banner, I'm like, I just want the clothes and stuff. But I kind of don't want to play it because I need to level up my Titan and yeah. my Hunter. So I don't know. It feels a little 
confusing still and cut and paste totally get that for lack of a better word yeah i'm not having a great time uh i kind of wish that like the end screen there's no reason to stick around in multiplayer anymore you know what you get before the match is over and it's a blue and maybe an engram yeah and you got to go cash those in anyway so as soon as you see that it's like well i don't have any other reason i know what that blue is it's a static roll yeah you know and even if the purples were showing it's still a static roll yeah. Yep. There's no reason to inspect or anything at the yeah. end of the match. And by the way, did you guys get any uh, glitchiness? I was getting a lot of lag and then also some just terrible like spawns, like pretty frequently. And I don't know why it's that, different yeah. for Banner. I probably put lag myself, for sure. Above I probably all. put myself in some sort of bad player hell because I was trying to get put into that map. <laughs> okay. So you could tell <laughs> but I don't know. Karma. What yeah. about you, CJ? I've read that. I haven't had that, oh, but it's like I, I, I've actually done that to I've so had many lag. people. Yeah, where I'm 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 walking up and it's like, oh, there's a guy spawning. Dead. Yeah. Like I've had yeah. that happen a number of times. There is so. a clip on Reddit right now. I reached out to guys to see if we could use it. Uh anyway, it is one minute of him spawning and dying to spawn kill. Oh, really? Yeah. Straight. Yeah. A minute straight. It's crazy. How is that a fun experience? Yeah. So yeah. this this goes towards what we were talking about just before the show. Right now, if there could be a fundamental change in how PvP works, solo play, team play. The competitive and quick play thing, that's nice. But right now, the consensus is if you play Destiny without a team, you are getting wrecked. And that's when that's happening because mm -hmm. people know where the spawns are and they're pushing mm -hmm. and they're going, hey, let's go get them and melting them. Yeah. That's not fun. Well, Banner's always going to be that, which is fine. But you yeah. just mean in general. Oh, in general, yeah. overall. You're right? not saying yeah. for Banner. No, well, it depends. Not for Banner, probably because it's a special activity. But yeah. right now, you know, it should everything should auto populate and maybe leave the competitive modes in there. But it should be a solo queue and a team queue for that reason alone. You got to fill those mm. matches, though. You know, I'm sure know, they're like man, the same thing. But do you will you wait for it? I, I don't know if I agree with what you're saying. No, that's I, fine. I think it's an interesting teams, idea. But, uh, but will yeah. it work? Like team play? Like, hey, it, do you have a team? But that's kind of what trials is. right? In other words, look at guided no. games. The intention, I think, is really uh, charming and smart. Yeah. But you got to wait 45 minutes. So you got to solve what it was that problem. Yeah. Right. But do you like going in right now without a team and playing any of the game modes? Iron Banner. When I win. Whatever. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> but but even yeah. then, it's like right now, Destiny 1, you could jump into, feel like a bit of a ninja, and feel like you could hold your own going in oh, by yeah. yourself. Destiny 2 so, does not so work that way. I've been playing solo, and I've actually been doing okay. Yeah. I know I just run with a blueberry, and we have a better chance at yeah. winning, right? So... I don't mind it so much. It, and interesting. Okay. I've been actually having a lot of fun. I changed up my weapon loader. I've been only using the Iron Banner weapons that I get. I use the sidearm and yeah. the uh, pulse. Pull I really, sidearm. really like the pulse. Yeah. Pulse yeah. And I've been pulse. having fun. So I'm trying to take it a little less seriously because of just sort of the current state of Crucible. And I'm, I'm having an okay time. Yeah. But the, okay. What, yeah. But what you're saying, yeah. I think, is largely impacted by the people who are sweating it out. Mm -hmm. Those are the people who are going in with the team. So when you go in and you see your, your emblem and then you see, you know, oh, there's four people in a clan here and you're four different clans and you're, you're in this game. You're like, well, this is going to be difficult. Yes. <laughs> what what <laughs> I see hard. is, yeah. The, you go up against a team of three, it's rough. What I see really is hard. the new Four 4v4 four. and the encouragement to uh, team shot. That yes. is, it's created this environment where really, right, you don't have a bunch of, call it teams of two running around because there's no 6v6. Yeah. You end up pretty inevitably running into like two or three people as one person if you're not with a team. Mm -hmm. yep. And so, yeah, I think those things combined, it is a, it's a problem. Like it's changed the dynamic. Yeah. I, I'm more with Destin. Like I do play solo and like overall, like part of it is, I guess I don't mind losing as much. Um, <laughs> but like, meaning I'm not counting what I'm getting I don't at, like losing. Meaning if I, I don't like losing. What either. I'm saying is if I play fine, I don't mind if the match was lost because I'm like, well, they played like crap. <laughs> <laughs> no, but legitimately, like, no, it's, I hear you. It's, just, it's different for me. It's like, yeah. you know, different strokes, different folks. But <laughs> Fran um, likes losing. No, that's... You heard it here. I know that's going to be... Fire Michael, you listen, hey, Lovery. I make it pretty easy on you. If you like losing, come play. Check out his KD. But uh, anyway, He's got some great I, I feel like the new dynamic, it's there. And I would agree, though, that even though it doesn't bother me, there is there's a problem, like... It's almost like you need either a casual queue or even better, what about a crucible directory where you can choose the mode you want to play? Right. And then maybe there's like Rumble yes. where you can just like, and it's casual and you just, right? Yeah. So I, I think they need to start breaking things out again. Like yeah. I'm very curious to learn. Oh man, what, what if you quick choose playing the type of strikes you want? Here, here's exactly. the number I want. 
what is the percentage of people that use quick play and the percentage of people that use competitive? Yeah. What has it taught us? And how many people are leaving supremacy? <laughs> um, but yeah. honestly, what are the numbers telling them? And you know they have that data. It's something that I understand you can't react to like overnight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they want to get the PC version out there too. But um, And where's elimination? I, I mean, basically, yeah. where is elimination as a game Exactly. Mode? Yeah. Like, what if I just want to play it when Trials isn't there? So yeah. we need more modes. I think that's the problem with the roadmap. It's certainly there somewhere, and I think they're making those decisions. But we don't know what's coming, and then all of a sudden it's going to be like, here's a trailer for the new Osiris DLC, and it's going to have this. I'll be like, awesome. And it'll have you, good Crucible. Right, but <laughs> yeah. you also made me wait the last 30 days and com complain on this show uh, <laughs> when I just kind of want to know what's going to come down the road yeah. even if they don't know the balances they're gonna make mm -hmm. right i'm like can you just tell me if there's a new map coming in a month yeah. just say a new map's coming yeah. and that little I, comment okay. that cosmo posted in the weekly update was very good that they're yeah. listening that they're listening and that i think again just looking back important. at the last show that was what people were saying when i was reading the comments listen. It's like listen and they acknowledged that so it was a good weekly update for that reason and that reason alone definitely so. i think feel like they have to do that often like guys we send out this company email to yeah. let people know what you're talking about we do this and i just feel like almost like the whole community just needs that reminder hey we still do that yeah we're still listening do. Yeah. you know it's it's a tough spot to be in though because they're saying we hear you can't say anything right now yeah yeah and that's the tough balance to walk but i think it's important in he i hear you well shotguns are all nerfed exactly <laughs> <laughs> what that's not what we meant <laughs> wait wait, wait. Uh, yeah. i'm saying i was saying this to you i can't remember nick and somebody else that yeah it's very much like destiny 2 right now is like a relationship it's like a new relationship and yeah. the honeymoon phase is over. It is. Yeah, no, it is. <laughs> and you're like, okay, now you have to go to therapy. And the therapy is the weekly that. update. <laughs> I don't think it's need, that bad. You just need to tune in and see what, you know, hopefully. I feel like we're at hopefully dinner. Hopefully the weekly update we, we, will, uh, <laughs> you know, will tell me okay. what I need to hear. More, then, then during the week, I More need on to whether or not CJ's marriage is all right on another <laughs> show. I feel like we're at I dinner. I did want to ask. And we ran out of stuff to talk about. <laughs> That's my analogy. Okay. Yeah, there you go. I did want to ask about the weapons specifically. What have you guys messed around with? What have you enjoyed? I really 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 like that pulse rifle i don't remember the name yeah, of the i don't have but i've been having for a it. lot of fun yeah, with it. chasing good. it and the sidearm's been pretty fun because it's a full auto sidearm yeah. uh the pulse has a little bit higher rate of fire than uh nightshade, nightshade. Yeah, yeah it looks like nightshade with a little bit more impact i think at a higher rate of fire so uh yeah i'm i'm jealous i had I was a lot watching of you play i got another one today so <laughs> i didn't get another one uh i did get you? the uh yeah what about you you know, oh, you're talking uh, about the SMG, dude. Fusion and SMG are my picks. I didn't yes. get the pulse yet. I have a feeling I'm gonna like it because I've been wanting a pulse to use. Like even though it's not the meta, I'm like I like pulse rifles. Yeah. So I've heard it's quite good. Yeah. But otherwise, the SMG don't underestimate it. It has um, it's the perk when you get closer. Uh, so it's a super high rate of fire. What's SMG. it called? You had to look it up before the show <laughs> because we looked the on the Ingram and it wasn't there. Oh, it's a hero's burden. Oh, so a hero's sure burden. It's an Iron Banner weapon? Yeah, it's All a right. hero's burden. And it I got the SMG and it's not in, yeah, the the not when we inspected it, but the sometimes Ingram. those. And two, maybe it so. randomly fills in there. But hmm. it's got um sorry, the perk is called threat detector. Increased reload, stability, and handling when enemies are close. Nice. The point is it's really high rate of fire. Yeah. Feels a little doctriny in that sense. But I like it. I do use Antiope. D. Or people were yeah. saying it's Antiopia. Antiope. And or something. D. D. Yep. But I, that is the the gunsmith. It's a joke. OP SMG. Yeah. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Anti -OP. Anti -OP. Now, D. anyway, uh, but yeah, that is my normal loadout, and I really like the um, the banner one. I always call the trials. I, I did get the fusion. <laughs> I haven't used it yet. And why, the fusion. Why because in rebuke. That's it. That's yes. good. The fusion. Is that the fusion? Yes. Yeah. So I haven't used that one yet because I have a higher charge rate one with mm -hmm. about the same stats. So I was just like, well, to me, I would rather use the higher charge rate. Yeah. One. Shock and awe. There's a few other ones that are yeah. out there for people a little faster. People like main, uh, main ingredient. Main ingredient, which yeah. is from... Um, it was uh, in the beta. IO or... Beta. I thought it was from a planet in particular. No, it's just strikes. No, it's yeah, a Vanguard. It's doing strikes. Vanguard so you can get main ingredient, which people love uh, if you love fusions. Otherwise, shock and awe is like I always tell CJ. Yeah. It's a version of the plan. See, that is actually what Rise of, Rise of Rebuke is most like. Yeah. So th both of those are really quite good. Yeah. And and as a as a fusion rifle guy, yeah, I, I'm back to Saladin's Vigil, Thesen. There was a bunch of really good year three fusion rifles I, from Destiny that I think this one will, uh, yeah, this will be high in the What map. about the other weapons for you, Siege? Uh, I mean, for the most part, that's the only one I really got. I didn't get too many other ones. Nobody got the auto. The, huh? uh, I, I did, did get the yeah. auto. Yeah. I've heard it's, I heard it's a laser beam. Uh, mm, I mean, it's good. It feels 
a little like origin story. Yeah, um, it feels I like heard it sways better. a lot, but really? I mean, uh, maybe I didn't have my kinetic mod attached. And again, does that matter for that kind of weapon? It's a like good. Mod, yeah. It's a totally um, solid auto rifle. Like right. it really. I is. did just get the scout. I, I haven't tried it out yet. Like I was pointing yeah. this out to CJ before the show. Like it's easy to be like, just use Uriel's gift, but it's not the same slot. Yeah. So you got to look at kinetic slot stuff like scathe lock or yeah. other weapons up there. And honestly, like it's origin story scathe lock. Uh, and that probably are your best choices. Yeah. And it's quite good, actually. It's Everyone's have been using Uriel's, and the fact yeah. that I, I'm just like, I'm not going to oh. do the meta. I'm going to try something different just for fun. Yeah. I've, been, I've been having a blast just messing around with other for things. For sure. Yeah, I, I forget if it has um, um, uh, about high caliber auto. rounds. Yeah. I was trying to remember yeah. that because that was like. The AR. That, mm -hmm. And that's where I think Iron Banner is fun. It, I actually started doing that same thing where. You know, try something different. Try something different. Yeah, the gun meta game is back from a standpoint of well, in some sense, you're gonna get team shot anyway. You're gonna get team <laughs> shot. See, Mass will try something new to yeah. see if you can combat yeah. it. So yeah, Ford Path good. does not. It has armor piercing rounds, but it has tap the trigger, gotcha. which grants a short period of increased stability and yeah, accuracy, which is the same oh, perk okay. that Uriel's has. But Uriel's is, is it which Uriel's is your, or is it the one from uh, Uriel's. Trials? No, Uriel's for sure. Okay. But that Uriel's has high caliber plus that, which is that gun is absolutely. The best. I lose the Uriel's a lot. But it's in your energy too. slot. But um, I was. And you cannot point do a direct out, comparison of those in the game. So it no, does make yeah. it a little tricky. But that's also why I like the SMG uh, Heroes Burn. It has high caliber plus like that stability perk. It's nice. It. it feels really good. It's smooth. Yeah. All right. Any final thoughts on Iron Banner or just Crucible in general? The show is about Crucible. So um, what do you think right now? I think it needs. Some major fixes. Major TLC. Yeah, if we're changing topics, I mean, you seem like you have an idea. No, or just wrap. I was going to actually defer to CJ first because he's Mr. Cruz. Yeah. So, well, I mean, so yeah. <laughs> For the consensus is right now that time to kill is still a bit of an issue. It's, it's the thing that people, I think, are having the roughest time with. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's weird because, again, <laughs> when you watch clips, time to kill is not long when you're getting team shotted. Mm -hmm. It's very short. Deletion, which is amazing that with a, a faster time to kill in Destiny 1, the game didn't feel like that with team shots. So there's this balance, I think, that needs to be done where, you know, and I don't know if it's in the weapons or your health. Like, even in the Hunter, I was playing a uh, Trials match last week. I actually got destroyed by Titan because just the ability that he has to get his resilience and recover and all that stuff higher because of the way the gears drop, he was able to just camp out back and forth and then push me closer yeah. and my shields were down because I actually can't spec for that recovery, yeah. you know, or that resilience. So there's certain things about the game that feel a little bit off for certain classes, um, and that is one of them. For a hunter, you know, I get killed in shade step all the time. I get killed in my quiver yeah, the all the time or my tether. No. Yeah, and those things are frustrating. Yeah, and yeah. like uh, indisputably, you like the Destiny one time to kill better, right? I think a faster time to kill. I'm, I'm trying again to be very open to it. <laughs> I just think that yeah, the team shotting is. It's a thing that changes the flow of the game. Yeah, it's, everybody starts doing it. Yeah, in such a crazy way that that's why I was saying about the solo play. It's the people who are solo queuing that seem to have the most frustration because well, CJ, you get wiped. You want to see some major changes, it sounds like, also. Yeah, I think so. I mean, again, hand cannons, everybody says on the PC yeah. beta, the hand cannons were amazing. I didn't get a chance really to play it PC's much. right around the corner? PC's right around the corner, um, so I'm excited to try it uh, for that reason. But that's that mid-range game, I think, that's been eliminated on account of team shooting and, you know, long corridors and all that stuff. I've never been a scout rifle guy in Destiny 1. I like it now for the most part in Destiny 2, but there's not a lot of options. Yeah. It's still a mighty game. we got to wrap it up, Fran, real quick. What do you think about Crucible overall right now? Yeah, what do they uh, need to change? I, I, like, I'm still having fun. I was telling CJ I do better in it, I think, overall. Uh, so there is some benefit there, but I definitely feel the burn sometimes where, like, you can't even, like, look around corners because yeah. people are just squad, squad, squad up, you know, waiting for you. So I'd like, I would like some experimentation with Time to Kill. I think it makes sense. Definitely same thing on, like, hand cannons. Like, they're okay, but they're very soft. And I think yeah. people are in love with hand cannons in general, and we like a little bit of a bump there. We don't know how or if the PC will be very different, actually, just because the beta was. So we'll see. My last note was I made a comment today on, about how Trials was on Midtown. Oh, yeah. Uh, which mm. was in the beta and then the PC beta. And, like, yeah. you know, we did get Javelin 4, obviously, as well. It's been beta. a but month. 
When you mm -hmm. play as much Destiny as we have, and especially when you're a hardcore player, like going into trials, like you want something new. And so anyway, I just yeah. sort of, it's a totally a decent, solid map for trials, I think. Mm -hmm. But I'm just like, I've seen so much of that map. Like Shores of Time would have been fine. Yeah, yeah. Like, or Distant Shores. So anyway, I just want something new. And I think that's where the game is a little caught right now. I'm not feeling like I have to get this weapon or yeah. I want to play this map. So we need some refreshment. Can't I not wait. Out of Crucible for a prestige raid. Did, did you just on a trial standpoint? Did you actually like survival last week? Because that was the first uh, time for survival, real quick. Uh, no, okay. I have well, no, yeah. I I have no desire I to like play it. trials personally. It's not really? I actually, wow. it, I have to get a group together. It's a big hassle. I'm just kind of like, whatever. It's always like that though, but now you have one more yeah. to get. But it's like, I got to get four people together, and it's just like, yeah, I'm just whatever. Like, I'm not mm. going to fight to play anymore. I like survival overall. I thought that it was one round too long. I thought it could have went to three yeah, versus that, four yeah. uh, overall. But games were long. Games yeah. were a little long. I, I was okay with it. But though. yeah, like, we but went the to the White itself. House Yeah, it was yeah. good. Also, like, if you get, like, two, three kills in survival, why aren't you just going to hide? Like, and that's yeah. what the games become, I assume, right? Yeah, a little like, bit. Okay, well, that's we're ahead. We're ahead. Let's be super careful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, so. just in general, like that's what I talked about in the review, yeah. and I don't know how they've addressed that yet. Which there's is, no, there's nothing forcing you together. Yeah, tweaks to make for sure. Yeah, but Would, I think it's it's worth asking one more time. Like, do you now hate Destiny Two or anything no, like that? No, of course, or like... don't hate <laughs> Destiny so. Two. It's just this frustration coming from. Uh, it just kind of feels like I've done everything, and I'm kind of like, why should I continue? Right. You know, but I don't hate the, the game. I still enjoy it. Like I'm enjoying yeah. the uh, various aspects of it. There's the chase is different. Yes. Yeah. And uh, that's tough. That was the theme from last week that everybody said, read in the comments. The chase is very much evolved into just this token, mm -hmm. hey, here you yeah. go. And again, the token thing was a quality of life thing yeah. that was designed to have you, you know, toss a token to a new character. You can't infuse into mm -hmm. certain things now. So it was done, I think, with positive intentions, but it just made getting loot too easy. Yeah. yeah. And it's the same thing with that. We really got to go. Yeah. We're over on Yeah, I, I, yeah. I obviously, I still enjoy the game. I keep <laughs> yeah. playing it. There's all these great <laughs> games out, but we're passionate about seeing some changes and fixes. So I hope that we hear as soon as next week. You know, we got TwitchCon coming up. They're going to announce yeah. seasons. We'll and both stuff. be there. So yeah, Say we'll hi. be there. Yeah. We'll I be will there. not. So uh, <laughs> yeah, if you're a TwitchCon, good reminder. We will be there. Hit us up on Twitter or otherwise. We'll find you. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Uh, one really quick promo note. If you listen on an audio platform, please leave a review for us as it helps us grow. And uh, that is actually it for today's show. So thank you, Fran. Thank you, CJ. And until next time, Guardians, Guardians out. out. Thanks for watching this episode of Fireteam Chat. And if you're a Destiny fan, make sure you catch us every Friday at 5 p.m. on YouTube.com slash Fireteam Chat. Last week's episode was really good and had a bunch of people engaging in the comment section below. So we'd love to see that again from everybody this time. How are you enjoying Iron Banner? Is it good? Maybe a little underwhelming? Let us know. Also, like Destiny 2, my marriage is rock solid. 15 years and never any problems. <laughs> Come back.